The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ron Jacket. Welcome to the program for this special Monday, the 19th of July, 2021. We go back to the last Wednesday of the 1949 regular season, September 28th. 1949 for a day game between the Brooklyn Dodgers and the Boston Braves. Now, when we were with you on Friday, the Cardinals had finally played as many games as the Dodgers. They both have four games left, but the Cardinals are off today. They head to Wrigley Field, I believe. The Dodgers are here in Boston. They'll play today and they'll play tomorrow, and I think we'll have if the Dodgers win today. We will have the Dodger game tomorrow. If the Dodgers lose today, we'll probably do St. Louis and Chicago tomorrow. So, games today, game tomorrow, no game Wednesday, game on Thursday, and then we'll see where we are. There's, we're right down to it. The Dodgers control their own fate. If they win out, they win the National League. The question is, can they win out? As Retro Sports Network presents Major League Pennant Chase Replay 1949. Today, from Braves Field in Boston, it is the Brooklyn Dodgers and the Boston Braves. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. Come on, you're supposed to open up. And this is a no lineup game. This is not as played. This is all my lineups. The computer pretty much shows Boston. We are playing Brooklyn. And for the Braves, Johnny Sane gets the start. Johnny Sane actually pitched the opening National League game of the season. He is out of scheduled starts. He is 13 and 17 with an ERA of 4.57. He's 31 years old, a fastball pitcher, 84, and a ground ball pitcher. If you're familiar with Spawn and Sane in Two Days of Rain, well, that was 1948. This was not 1949. He's only pitched against Brooklyn four times, 25 innings, 33 hits. 19 runs, 17 earned. He's walked 13 and struck out 11. 1 and 2 against the Dodgers with a 6 1 2 ERA. His last start was against the Pirates on the 22nd, so plenty of rest. 6 and 2 thirds innings, 11 hits, 4 runs all earned. He walked 3 and struck out 1. And he has been hit hard all year in 270 innings. He's allowed 353 hits. My goodness. 164 runs, 137 earned. 18 homers. He's walked 81 and struck out 86. I believe that is the baseball version of road hard and put away wet. Here's a lineup for the Dodgers. P.B. Reese leads off at short. Spider Jorgensen at third will bat second. Duke Snyder in center field bats third. Jackie Robinson cleans up at second base. Gil Hodges at first will bat fifth. Roy Campanella behind the plate goes sixth. Carl Ferrillo at seventh and right. Tickle me Omo at Louis and left. He'll go eighth. And Hatton, Joe Hatton, is on the mound. He should throw about 125 pitches. The Dodgers would prefer that he not have to pitch in the playoff because they want to hold him for game one of the World Series. We'll tell you more about that as we move along. But you got to get to the World Series before you can plan for it. Sauer is a 5 and a 2 as we set the Braves defense for you. Russell is a 5 and a 3 in center. And Tommy Holmes is a 5 and a 7. Bill Elliott an 8 at 3rd. Alvin Dark a seven at short, Eddie Stanky a five at second, Fletcher a five at first, Del Crandall 
a nine and a nine behind the plate. And Johnny Sane is an eight on the mound with a 942 fielding percentage. It is a beautiful day here in Boston. 74 degrees with the winds blowing out to left at eight. So everyone set. The Cardinals are off. The lead is one. The magic number is four. Pee Wee Reese steps in at 313, 14 homers, 30 doubles, and 82 RBI. And Pee Wee grounds this one up the middle. Dark to Fletcher, one out. Here's Spider Jorgensen. Spider at 292. No homers, five double and 14 RBI. Brooklyn, 90. And 60 with a one game lead. The Braves, if they win out, can get to 500 at 77 and 77. So a bad year for the Braves coming off their National League championship. Pitch to Jorgensen. There's a chopper to second. Stanky bobbles it and the throw to first, however, I believe is in time. It is. Because Jorgensen has absolutely no speed. Stanky caught that on a bad hop. BU, Boston University, played football here on last weekend to open their season. And that just took a football hop. So two out for Snyder. Duke at 272. 26 homers and 87 RBI. Pitch from Sane. Ball four, two out walk. Here's Jackie Robinson. Jackie is 214 hits. He is hitting 366, 17 homers, 108 RBI, and an OPS, which 1949 people would go, what? Of 995. Robinson and Ralph Kiner fighting for the MVP. Robinson won it in real in real life. And you would think if Brooklyn pulls this off, that would be inclined to give it to him again. D. Scott Howard, let's go bums, crunch time. Pitched a throw to first, Snyder back. Robinson, by the way, has 38 steals. Jackie hits a chopper up the middle. That's a base hit. Snyder will trundle to third. And there's runners on the corners and two out for Gil Hodges. And for Sane, that's the 354th hit he's given up. Gilbert at 315, 23 dingers and 114 RBI. Runners on the corners, two out, top the first. In the right, Holmes will make the catch, and that will retire the side. Dodgers get a hit, and a walk in strand two. Bottom one, Brooklyn nothing. Here comes the Braves. Joe Hatton, at 32 years old, fastball pitcher, 83, and a fly ball pitcher, would likely be the game one starter of either... The three-game playoff against the Cardinals, or the World Series game one of the World Series, 17 and nine with a 3.46 ERA against the Braves. This is start number seven. Hard to believe he only had one start against the Giants. He had nine against Cincinnati. Anywho, six or seven start against the Braves, 35 and a third innings, 40 hits. 18 runs, 15 earned. He's walked 19 and struck out 13. Braves have his number a bit. He's 2-3 and three with an ERA of 382. Against Boston, his last start came against the Cardinals on the 22nd. Six and two-thirds innings and a win. Eight hits, four runs all earned. He walked four and struck out four. Hatton has thrown 224 innings. And that extra usage really doesn't matter because we turn off the penalties here. 233 hits, 15 homers, 101 runs, 86 earned. He's walked 85 and struck out 57. 
The lineup he'll face. Again, computer picked this for the Braves as this was not in the as played library. Eddie Stanky leads off at second for Boston. Alvin Dark at short will bat second. Bob Elliott at third will bat third. Fletcher cleans up at first. Tommy Holmes in right will bat fifth. Hank Sauer in left will bat sixth. Russell in center goes seventh. Del Crandall behind the plate goes eighth. And Johnny Sane, who threw 20 pitches in his half of the first, will bat ninth. Defensively for the Dodgers, it is Louis Olmo in left. He is a two and a six. Duke Snyder is a 9 and an 8 in center. Carl Ferrillo an 8 and a 10 in right. Spider Jorgensen is a 3 at first, a third. Pee Reese a 9 at short. Jackie Robinson an 8 at second. Gil Hodge is a 9 at first. Campanella a 9 and a 6 behind the plate. And Hatton can field his position well. He's a 7 with a 9.57 fielding percentage. Eddie Stanky at 281, three double, uh, three homers, and 44 RBI. I've got the Dodgers. The computer has the Braves. Hatton starts his ball game with a fly ball to right center field. Snyder is there, one out. For Al Dart, Al at 292, five homers, and 62 RBI. Has 10 triples, by the way. Hatton deals. In the right center, Ferrillo, two out. Brings up Bob Elliott, who looks like he should be making moonshine in Kentucky in that picture, doesn't he? Bob at 326. Not his fault the Braves stumbled in 49. 11 triples, 21 homers, and 120 RBI. Technically, has a better OPS than Jackie Robinson. But the Braves will scramble to get to 500. In fact, if they lose today, they can't get to 500. Elliott, right center field, Snyder, and that will retire the side. Hatton gets the side on 11 pitches. We go to the second, no score. So Campanella, Ferrillo, and Olmo to face Johnny Sane. Roy at 308, 22 homers, 82 RBI. Pitch to Campy. There's a ground ball to short. Dark in the hole. It's always dark in the hole. Throws to first, one out. I'd be scared if you looked into a hole and light came out of it. You'd feel like Wiley Coyote on the Roadrunner. Here's Carl Ferrillo. 328, 25 homers, 130 RBI. Hopefully you all had a good weekend. Pitch to Ferrillo as a line drive to second. Stanky's there, two out. Brings up the Tickle Me one. Louie at 345. Seven doubles and 17 RBI. Pitch from Sane is a line drive to short. Dark is there, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. A seven pitch inning for Johnny Sane. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. So, LB Fletcher. Tommy Holmes and Hank Sauer to face Hatton here in the second. Or is it Johnny? Whiskey Sour. L.B. Fletcher at 266. 11 homers and 46 RBI. So today at noon Eastern, tomorrow at noon Eastern, and Thursday at noon Eastern. Wednesday we typed the podcast. Hitch to Fletcher. Struck him out. Hatton got him on a Bugs Bunny fastball below the belt. So one out for Tommy Holmes. Tom, 275, six homers and 62 RBI. Now, at some point, either tomorrow or Thursday, we're going to Wrigley Field because that's where the Cardinals are. Do I change the default picture for Wrigley and doll one up? 
or do you want to see replay boards in 1949? Because that's the default picture. Think about that and let me know. Pitch to Holmes is a fly ball to center field. Snyder running way over, and that ball is gone. Holmes nearly puts that in the River Charles. That's his seventh home run of the year, and the Braves lead it one nothing. It's Eddie Sauer. But first, we'll torture D. Scott by showing you the Holmes home run again. You gotta poke one out of here to get one to leave. For righties, it's minus 55%. So the Braves draw first blood. Chance of go Cubs come from the stands. Sour at 245, a homer, and 30 RBI. Preacher Rowe will go the next game for Brooklyn. Your eyes are closed. <laughs> Pitch to Sauer is a fly ball to right center field. Ferrillo will track that down. Two out. For Jim Russell. Jim at 274, 12 homers, 32 doubles, and 62 RBI. So one nothing Braves, bottom of the second. Russell in the right. <coughs> Ferrillo makes the catch as I cough, and that will retire the side. <coughs> Tommy Holmes, however, hits a solo shot to left center, and that's the first hit and run in the game for the Braves. After two, one nothing Boston. So here is Joe Hatton with Reese and Jorgensen to follow. Joe at 116, not even a healthy weight, and 7 RBI. So Sane looking for his 14th win of the year. Last start, too. Pitch to Hatton as a ground ball bast the mound for a base hit. So the Dodgers have their second hit of the game, and that brings up Pee Wee, who's 0 for 1 and not in a position to bunt. Sane's opening nine, 33 pitches, two plus innings, two hits and a walk. Swings and fouls it off, and the count is 0 and 2. This time it's a ground ball to third. Elliott might get two. Stanky for one over to Fletcher. It's close. They didn't get him. So re speed it out. So it goes 5-4 on the fielder's choice and one out for Spider Jorgensen, who's 0 for 1. Pitch from Sane. Ball 4. The Dodgers are a well-oiled machine. And here's Duke Snyder. Two, seven, uh, he walked his first time up. I already gave you those numbers. So Reese can score on a hit. And Jorgensen, if you gave him about a week's head start, might score from first. Pitch to Snyder. Here's a fly ball, shallow right. Holmes rides the Schwinn, makes the catch. And everybody holds up two out. For Jackie Robinson, who singled his first time up. Pitch from Sane. Ground ball to third. Elliott across the way, and the Dodgers will leave on two. So no runs, a hit, no errors, and the Dodgers have left four runners on through three innings. We go to the bottom of the third inning. It is the Braves one, the Dodgers nothing. Del Crandall, Johnny Sane, and Eddie Stanky here in the third to face Joe Hatton. Dale at 289, writing songs about run, run, run away. Well, that was Del Shannon, wasn't it? Five owners and 30 RBI. Pitch to Crandall. Here's a slow chopper. Robinson on the grass over to first, and they got him. Jackie did not wait for that to get on the dirt, and there's one out for Sane who can hit 
301. Five doubles and six RBI. 31 for 103. That's pretty good. Pitch from Hatton. Here's a ground ball to Robinson deep in the hole. Over to first, and there's two out. For Eddie Stanky, who's 0 for 1. Hatton, a good opening nine. Just the one mistake pitch to Tommy Holmes. Two and a third innings. 36 pitches. The one hit being the homer by Holmes. And a strikeout. Pitch to Stanky. Here's a fly ball right center field. Ferrillo is there, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the fourth. It is. The Braves won, the Dodgers nothing. And so here you go. The Yankees can just kind of soft pedal their way home. They have a four game lead, or 11 game, and a half game lead. They cannot win 100. They can finish 98 and 56. Detroit's magic number for a winning season is one. And I don't think the Browns can lose 100. In the National League, the Dodgers by one over St. Louis. The Cardinals have won three straight and gained a game on the Dodgers. Now, if you're wondering, in one-run games, they're virtually, you can't separate them. They're both under 500. But in extra inning games, the Dodgers are 12-1. and one. The Cardinals are 8-9. and nine. What does that mean? I don't have a clue, but just something to keep in mind as we head down the stretch. Here's Hodges. Gill is 0 for 1. Sane winds and deals to start the fourth into right field. Russell running a long way. Makes the catch. One out. That's Jerry Rice and Crazy Legs Hirsch territory to run that far. Goodness gracious, Marie. So Russell takes his time to get back into center field. And here's Campanella. Wow, and so I now have had 6,000 views on Twitch during live streams. Not bad. Campy's 0 for 1. Ground ball to first. LB picks it up. Fletcher to Sane, 2 out. You don't want to say this is a must-win game for the Dodgers. Perillo's 0 for 1. But the margin of error is pretty much all gone. And I think St. Louis has an easier road now with the Cubs than the Dodgers do with the Braves and the Phillies. Pitch to Ferrillo is a ground ball up the middle, dark, over to first, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. Bottom of the fourth inning, it's still the Braves won, the Dodgers nothing. So Dark, Elliott, and Fletcher to face Hatton here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Pitch to Al is a base hit up the middle. Snyder will field it. Dark will round first and head back. And that's only the second Braves hit. So D. Scott Howard looking to find some magic in some vegetables or fungus. And maybe a goat to pet or something like that. As they try to as he tries to will the Dodgers past the Braves. Bob Elliott's 0 for 1. Base hit left field. Omo will pick it up. Dark will hold it second. And the Braves are cooking here. They have two on and nobody out for L.B. Fletcher. L.B. struck out his first time up. Pitch. Here's a fly ball to left. Almost. Well, make the catch. Dark will hold it second. One out. For Tommy Holmes, who hit the solo bomb his first time up. 
As we said, a beautiful day here in Boston, 77 degrees. Wind's blowing out to left at 8. Pitch to Tommy in the left field. Omo, two out. And Dar's going to try for third. Omo flings it to Jorgensen, and he is safe. So everybody moves up 90. Dark on third, Elliot on second for Eddie Sauer, who was 0 for 1. All four goats are wearing Dodger jerseys this week. I'd make the joke about Farmer John, but we're still in Brooklyn. Sauer is 0 for 1. Hatton trying to get out of this jam here in the fourth inning. Here's the pitch. Got him! Oh, he looked at a fastball for strike three. And the brave strand two. No runs. Two hits and no errors. We go to the fifth. It's Boston one, Brooklyn nothing. So Olmo, Hatton and Reese to face Sane. Louie is 0 for 1. Pitch from Sane. There's a ground ball to third. Elliott across the way, one out. So here's Joe Hatton. He singled his first time up. There's a base hit left field. Sauer picks it up. That's the second hit for Hatton. Never good when the pitcher leads your team and hits. Third hit for the Dodgers. Here's Pee Wee Reese. He's 0 for 2. Sane opening 18 on 66 pitches. Four and a third innings. Three hits. And two walks. Pee Wee in the left. Sour. Two out. Brings up the spider. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Brooklyn has an historically powerful offense. Has been shut down through four and two thirds today. That's a base hit right center field. Russell will pick it up. Hatton motors on to third. The Dodgers have runners on the corners and two outs for Duke Snyder. The Duke has walked and is 0 for 1. So the tying run is the pitcher Hatton. And George, I've never seen a runner in action PC baseball with a speed of 0. Pitch to Snyder. In the shallow right center, Russell rides the Schwinn and the Dodgers leave on two more. Not good. No runs. Two hits and no errors. The Dodgers have left on six halfway home on a Monday afternoon. It's the Braves one. The Dodgers nothing. You'd think with that score line that the Braves and Dodgers were the ones fighting for the pennant. But it's not. The lone run in the game came on a Tommy Holmes home run to center field to make it 1-0 Boston. This has been a well-pitched game. Joe Hatton has only allowed three hits and struck out two. While Johnny Sane has shut down the Dodgers on four hits and two walks through five. The Goats are going to be eating those jerseys if the Dodgers lose. Here's Russell. Jim is 0 for 1. 
Hatton starts the fifth with strike three. He got him looking at a slow fastball. Honestly, you'd think that that's not even a modern changeup at 81, let alone a fastball. Here's Crandall. Dell is 0 for 1. There's a liner in the right or left field for a base hit. So the Braves have their fourth hit of the ball game. And then I'll bring up Johnny Sane. Who's going to swing away? I would think Crandall actually is in good shape. Throw to first. Dell is back. Dodgers play for the bunt. Jorgensen and Hodges come in. There goes Crandall. The hit and run is on, and that ball is foul. Somebody from New Hampshire made that catch. Two and one to count. Crandall stays put. Sane drops one down. Campanella's only play is to first. Goes 2 4 on the card. And that brings up Eddie Stanky. Crandall moves to second. Two out. Stanky's 0 for 2. Hatton, 75 pitches through 18 batters. Four and two thirds innings. Four hits. The home run to Holmes. And three strikeouts. Stanky, ball four. So Hatton throws his first walk of the game. And now brings up Alvin Dark. Al is one for two. Hatton trying to slam the door again. One nothing Braves, bottom of the fifth inning. Here's the pitch to Dark. Struck him out. Hatton got him. He got him with a fastball in there at the knees. And all Dark can do is kind of toss the bat and shake his head. After five, no runs, one hit, no errors. The Braves strand two. It's Boston one, Brooklyn nothing. I'm not going to bunt Jackie Robinson here. He's one for two with a single. Elliott and Fletcher come in. Sane's pitch. Robinson popped up. Dark on the grass. Uh, it's Elliott, rather. Called off Alvin Dark, one out. Just like Elliott had him played perfectly. Here's Hodges. Gill is 0 for 2. Top of the 6, 1 out. Braves and Dodgers. On the last Wednesday of the 1949 regular season. Pitch to Hodges is a fly ball to center. Back goes Russell, and he's there. Two out. Campanella is 0 for 2. Sane's pitch. Roy, base hit right field. So Holmes will pick it up. Fifth hit for the Dodgers. Brings up Ferrillo. As I mentioned earlier, has driven in 130 runs. And hit 25 homers. Two out. Top of the sixth. Braves one, Dodgers nothing. Pitch to Ferrillo. Carl pops it up. Dark doesn't even really have to move, and the side is retired. No runs, a hit, and no errors. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. This one's tighter than a Dan Rather Texas tick. It's one nothing, Boston. So, Bob Elliott. There'll be Fletcher and Tommy Holmes to face Hatton here in the sixth inning. Bob is one for two with a single. Line drive. Hodges is there. One out. Brings up Fletcher. LB struck out. One of four from Hatton on the game. And is 0 for two. Hopped up. Campanella to the screen. Two out. By the way, we'll be with you tomorrow. Either the Dodgers and the Braves or the Cardinals and the Cubs from Wrigley. 
Here's Tommy Holmes. He's one for two. Solo shot in the second is the only run in the ball game. Tommy down the line and right. That's extra bases. Holmes is going to dig for three. The throw to Jorgensen. No, sir. So a two-out triple for Tommy Holmes, and that's his third of the year. And that's big because if Sauer can bring him home, that's a big insurance run. The wind has shifted. It's now seven miles an hour out to right center and 81 degrees on his 28th day of September 1949. Sauer is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Hatton deals. Got him! Oh, that was big. A full count fastball for strike three. Wow, swing and a miss. No runs. The Braves leave on a runner. We go to the seventh. D. Scott channeling his inner Lorenzo. One nothing Braves. So Olmo, Hatton, and Reese to face Sane here in the seventh. What a huge strikeout from Hatton. Olmo was yep. A couple of big K's for him for sure. Olmo was 0 for 2. Sane starts the seventh. The ground ball to short. Dark in the hole. And that's an error. That got away from Fletcher and almost into second. Oh, no. Keith Oberman's mom again. Really? He's got to stop hitting this woman. Ah. So the tying run is on because of the error. So almost on second. Elliott and Fletcher play in for the bunt. And the Dodgers will do it just to get the tying run to third. Pitch to Hatton. The bunt is down. Crandall goes to third and they get Omo. It failed. It's 2 5 on the fielder's choice. And I can hear all the Dodger fans say, Don't! So Sane is one out. 103 pitches for 27 batters. Six and a third innings, five hits, and two walks. Pee Wee is 0 for 3. It's from Sane. Pee Wee pops it up left side. Elliott, two out. Brings up the spider. He's one for two. He is singled and walked. If the Braves win, the lead goes down to half a game. And the magic number stays at four. If the Dodgers win, the lead goes to a game and a half, and the magic number is three. Walked him. Four pitches out of the zone. And two out for Snyder, who is 0 for 2 with a walk. Third walk from Sane. Again, it's time to chew on those fingernails. Crandall goes out to talk with Sane. Johnny delivers. Snyder, that's a base hit right center field. Hatton will round third and score. Jorgensen is into third. The Dodgers have tied the ball game at one. And here comes Jackie Robinson, who is one for three. Jorgensen will score on anything. And Jor he is the go-ahead run. As Sane starts to labor here in the seventh. The error by Stanky is costly as this game is now tied. Pitch to Robinson. Here's a ground ball to Stanky. He goes to dark for the force, and that will retire the side. Stretch time 1 1.
So we're now right down to brass tacks as Joe Hatton shows me the fatigue symbol. Russell, Crandall, and maybe Sane here in the seventh. The error by Stanky has tied the game at one. Russell's 0 for 2 with the strikeout. Hatton has struck out five and pitched really well. And now has no decision. He's looking for win 18. Pitch to Russell. Got away from Campanella. The throw to Hodges is in time. So it's a K on the board. And a 2-3 on the putout. He swung and missed in the fastball. That's 6 for Hatton. Crandall, one for two, with a single. There's a ground ball to Hatton over to Hodges, two out. Let's see what the computer does with Johnny Sane. Johnny's 0 for 1 with a sack one. In the eighth, Hodges, Campanella, and Ferrillo for the Dodgers. Johnny Sane's day is done. Sibby Sisti comes in. Sibby at 278. Four homers and 32 RBI. As a pinch hitter, he's hitting 182. Pitch. There is a fly ball or left center field. Snyder is there, and that will retire the side. The Braves go in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. You'd think it was late September. 1-1 Brooklyn. So Nels Potter at 37 years old. Nelly is trying to nail this one down for the Braves. He is 4-4 four four with 8 saves and an ERA of 495. 37 years old, a fastball pitcher, 85 and a ground ball pitcher. Nelly Last game is tomorrow. How the heck do you get retired or forced to leave that early? Sixth appearance against the Dodgers. Two starts for Nils. 20 in the third innings. 25 hits. 16 runs. 15 earned. He's walked eight. Struck out 11. One and one with a save and an ERA of 664. Nelly's last appearance came against the Giants on the 24th. Two-thirds of an inning. A hit, a loss, two earned runs, a walk and a strikeout. So he is the pitcher of record for Boston. 60 innings, 74 hits, 5 homers, 40 runs, 33 earned. He's walked 27 and struck out 34. Hodges, Campanella, and Ferrillo. Gill is 0 for 3. Potter winds and deals. Base hit left center field. Sauer picks it up. And the go-ahead run is on with nobody out. Campanella, one for three. Roy has a single. Top of the lineup for the Braves in the bottom of the eighth inning. Throw to first. Hodge is back. Pitch to Campy. Up the middle. Potter's only play is to first. Fletcher is there. One out. So Hodges moves to second for Ferrillo, who is 0 for 3. One run, seven hits, no errors, and nine left on for Brooklyn. They've had their chances. The Braves, one run, five hits, an error, and they've only left on five. Pitch to Ferrillo. Up the middle. Hodges to third. Stanky on the grass. Over to first. Two out. So Stanky stops the infield single. Sounds like something you'd spray, doesn't it? Mm, I'm going to use some Stanky on that garbage can. Here's Olmo. Louis is 0 for 3. Hodges on third. Potter looks him back. Goes to the plate. Ground ball to third. Elliott over to first. And the Dodgers cannot do anything with a runner. No runs, a hit, no errors. The Dodgers have left 10 men on. 
We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's 1-1. One, one. So Hatton, they'd like to get him through the eighth inning because he leads off <coughs> to start the bottom of the eighth or the ninth. Joe threw 27 batters, 119 pitches, seven innings, five hits. The home run to Tommy Holmes. He has walked one and struck out six. Stanky is 0 for 2 with a walk. Pitch from Hatton. Ball four, and the go ahead run is on first. Full count curve missed high, and they're going to have to come get Hatton. They'll make a double switch. Who can face a righty is a better question, and it's going to be Jack Banta. So Omo will come out. And Tommy Brown is a better defensive player. He's a five and a six. And gets the call in the nine hole. Aubrey Plaza's weird looking grandfather. Not really. Is three and two with five saves and an ERA of 438. He is 24 years old. A fly ball pitcher, which probably does not hurt in this park. And the fastball tops out at 92. Against the Braves, this is, this is his seventh appearance. He has a start. And all told, has thrown nine and two-thirds innings against Boston. Ten hits. No record. Four runs all in. He walked six and struck out six. His last appearance was a start against the Cubs on the 20th. Seven innings. Eight hits. Four runs. Three earned. No decision. He walked one and struck out four. So 121 and a third innings. 120 hits. 14 homers, 62 runs, 59 of them earned. He's walked 47 and struck out 69. This is his game. Although Stanky belongs to Hatton. Dark is one for three. He has singled and struck out. Pitch to Dart is a fly ball to left. Brown immediately used, makes the catch in foul territory. One out. Brings up Bob Elliott, who's one for three, with a single. The Cardinals are already in Chicago. And if there actually was national radio for this, which there wasn't, they'd be listening intently. Pitch to Elliott. There's a fly ball to center. Robinson, except I popped up as a matter of fact, Robinson on the dirt, two out. Brings up L.B. Fletcher. L.B.'s 0 for 3 with a strikeout. So Brown, Reese, and Jorgensen for the Dodgers in the ninth. Pitch to Fletcher. Foul tipped on a full count change, and Campanella can't hang on to it. So another chance for the Braves. Banta's pitch. Fletcher struck him out. He checked his swing. They point down to third, and he swung. So the Braves leave a runner on. No runs. No hits and no errors. We go to the ninth. It's the Dodgers won. The Braves won. So Tommy Brown is going to stay in the game and hit at 318, four homers, and 19 RBI. So Brown, Reese, and Jorgensen to face Potter here in the top of the ninth. The Braves got their run in the second, a solo shot from Tommy Holmes. The Dodgers got an honor and run in the seventh on the air by Eddie Stanky. Brown, base hit, left field. Sauer picks it up. And the go-ahead run is on. 
And here is Pee Wee Reese. Pee Wee is 0 for 4. Don't look for the butt here. He's not a good one in this situation. Pitch from Potter. Popped up. Left side. Dark. A rainmaker. One out. Elliott and Fletcher guard the lines for Jorgensen. Who's one for two. Has walked twice and single. Potter delivers. Ball four. The go-ahead runs in scoring position. One out for Snyder. But we're going to pinch run for Jorgensen. Eddie Mixis will be the pinch runner. Because Jorgensen, his speed died about 50 years before he was born. So Snyder's one for three. He has walked, driven in run number 88, and singled. Potter from the stretch. Base hit right field. Brown will round third. Holmes picks it up. He throws to the plate. Crandall got him. Oh, they got him. Brown with a good slide. And Crandall with a better tag. You got to do it. That might have been the game. There was only one out. And Holmes threw an absolute BB. So here's Robinson. Mixus, of course, would score on a single now. He's a seven out there at second. Jackie is one for four. We hear the next booth. He looks safe from here. This is not a democracy. <laughs> it's whatever the computer decides. The Dodgers have left on 10. They don't want to leave on anymore. Pitched it. Well, Crandall goes out there and talks to Potter. Nels to pitch. There's a ground ball to Stanky, and they're going to leave on two more. Wow. No runs. Two hits. And no errors. We go to the bottom of the ninth. One. One. Mixer stays in the game at third. He's a five. Oh. 64% chance to score. And Tommy Holmes was at the plate. He's two for three. He hit his seventh of the year in the second. And then would later triple. The Dodgers have had their chances. Pitch to Holmes. In the left field. Brown. One out. If we go to extras, it's Hodges, Campanella, and Ferrillo in the 10th for Brooklyn. Eddie Sauer is 0 for 3. He has struck out twice. Pitch from Banta. Popped up. Pee Wee. Two out. Here's Jim Russell. 0 for 3. He has struck out twice. Banta can't believe it. One run, nine hits, no errors, and the Dodgers, as we said, have left 12 on. The Braves will run on five hits, an error, and they've left on six, and that error was huge. It allowed the Dodgers to score in the seventh. Pitch to Russell. Struck him out, and we're getting some free baseball today. Russell goes down for the third time today. And after nine, it's the Dodgers won, the Braves won. So Potter to face Hodges, Campanella, and Ferrillo. And then we'll see, because Banta 
has only thrown 24 pitches. Here in the 10th inning of a 1-1 tie, Hodges is 1 for 4. The Braves playing the role of spoiler. The Dodgers just trying to get some breathing room. Pitch to Gill. Got him! A 1-2 fastball at the belt. So we talked earlier about records and extra innings. Brooklyn is 12-1. and one. The Braves are 4-9. and nine. Brings up Campanella, who is 1-4 for four with a single. Potter delivers. There's a ground ball to third. Elliott, two out. So it brings up Ferrillo. Carl is 0 for 4. Crandall, pitcher spot, and Stanky in the bottom of the 10th inning. If the computer was smart, they'd walk Ferrillo here and make me use a pinch hitter. Ferrillo, base hit in the right field. Holmes will pick it up. Works for me. And so Banta's day is done. Who can hit a righty? We're going to say Gene Hermansky. He's hitting 325 with 10 homers and 33 RBI. As a pinch hitter, he's hitting 500. But does he make the world taste good? We'll find out. So Hermansky in the face, Potter. The Dodgers will go to their pen in the, again in the bottom of the 10th inning. Perillo, the go-ahead run is on first. Hermansky walked him. So the go-ahead run is now in scoring position. As Potter missed outside and low on a 3-1 fastball. And that will bring up Tommy Brown. Tommy is O or is singled rather. I'm sorry. He is one for one. Potter. Laboring out there now. Two and two thirds innings for Nelly. He's pitch. Got him! Brown strikes out! He swung at one that was way outside the zone. And the Dodgers leave on two more. No runs, one hit, and no errors. We'll have a new pitcher for Brooklyn. The bottom of the 10th inning, it's the Dodgers won, the Braves won. So, righty, righty, righty. Irv Palika making his 46th appearance of the year. He is 4-6 with 5 saves and an ERA of 4.52. Against the Braves, this is his 8th relief appearance. 11 in and a third innings, 11 hits, 3 runs, all earned. He's walked 7 and struck out 6. He is a 21-year-old kid. Fastball at 88. Doesn't favor the fly ball nor the ground ball. The Goats are learning how to do CPR for D. Scott Howard. Palika hasn't pitched in nine days. He faced the Cubs on the 19th. No decision. An inning and a third. A lot of hit and struck out too. So overall, 81 and two-thirds innings. 88 hits. Three homers, 46 runs, 41 here, and he's walked 51 and struck out 43. Crandall, pitcher spot, and Stanky. Dell is one for three. Dell, up the middle, Robinson snares it one out. So Nels, I can't imagine he's going to hit here. Steve Kuzek. Steve. Two for three is a pinch hitter. He's doubled twice, driven in a run. Palika. 
winds and deals to third, mixes, two out. And that brings up Stanky, who's 0 for 2. He's walked twice. If we go to the 11th, Reese, Mixus, and Snyder for the Dodgers against a new Braves pitcher. There's a base hit. Left center field. The winning run is on. For Al Dark. Dark has struck out, singled. He's 1 for 4. That's only the 6th hit from the Braves. The wind is now moving right out towards the River Charles in center at four. And 83 degrees. Palika's pitch. There's a base hit left field. Stanky will hold. Stanky goes to third. And now the winning run is 90 feet away. For Bob Elliott. Elliott one for four with a single. Polika standing out there with a spotlight on him the size of a burrow. From the stretch, foul ball will do it again. That one went first base side. The count is a ball and two strikes. The winning run is on third. Dart can just sit on that Adirondack lawn chair and enjoy the view. Two on, two out. Bottom of the 10th inning. 1-1 one, one tie. Pitch to Elliott. Line drive. Robinson is there. And the band plays on. Bill Boisel coming into pitch. We go to the 11th. No runs, two hits, no errors. Hopefully the Goats can, can help D. Scott. And it's 1-1. One, one. So Voicel is about the pitcher that the Dodgers have ordered here. He is 5-11 with a save and an ERA of 564. His nickname is 96. Be curious to know why. 30 years old, a fastball pitcher, 84, and a standard pitcher. Seventh appearance against the Dodgers, five starts, 31 and two-thirds innings, 41 hits. 24 runs all earned. He walked 17 and struck out 16. And again, this is what the Dodgers ordered. He's 1 and 2 with an ERA of 682. His last appearance was a start a week ago against the Pirates. No decision, 8 innings, 9 hits, 5 runs all earned. Walked 2 and struck out 5. 154 and 2 thirds innings, 183 hits. 16 homers, 107 runs in total, 97 earned. He's walked 72 and struck out 64. No one will remember how many runners the Dodgers have left on if they win this game. Pee Wee is 0 for 5. Voicel is ready. Pee-wee, line drive to second. Stanky leaps, one out. Here's Mixis, Eddie at 250. No homers and five RBI. Both the Dodgers and Cardinals play tomorrow. Brooklyn right here in Boston. The Cardinals moved to Wrigley. Pitch to Mixis. Ball four. So the go-ahead run is on again. Full count pitch down and in. Elliott and Fletcher guard the lines for Snyder. Duke is single twice. Walked and drove in the lone Dodger running the seven. Throw to first. Mix this is back. Boisel delivers. Gets away from Crandall. And Mix this is going to second to throw down to Dark. Safe. Crandall misplayed it. He bobbled it. It was a good throw. He found the handle, but Mixus was already on his way to second. So now a 1-1 count to Snyder and the go-ahead run on second. Boisel delivers. Struck him out. 
He got him looking at a 1-2 fastball. And now there is two out for Jackie Robinson, who was one for five. He's got himself a single. Fletcher, Holmes, and Sauer for the Braves in the 11th. Boy sells pitch, Robinson to third. Elliott's got it. Over to first. And the Dodgers leave another runner on. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the 11th inning. 1-1. One, one. So Fletcher, Holmes, and Sauer here in the 11th. And if we do go to the 12th, Hodges, Campanella, and Carl Ferrillo. L.B. Fletcher is 0 for 4. He has struck out twice. Palika starts the 11th in the center field. Back goes Snyder. One out. Duke had to go back for that one. But that was in no danger of leaving the yard. Tommy Holmes hit a solo shot to left center in the second to make a 1-0 Boston. And that is the lone run for the the Braves in this game. He is two for four. Also has a triple. Palika. In the right field, but foul. Ferrillo tried to make a play on it. Could not. And the count is 0-2. Holmes. Lost him. He had him down 0-2 and then walked him. Brings up Sauer, who is 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. Throw to first, Holmes. Oh, it's back. They pitch out. Holmes doesn't go anywhere. So 1 on the count. Bottom of the 11th inning here. Free baseball from Braves Field. Pitch to Sauer. In the left field, Brown, two out. Holmes was halfway to second and had the retreat. Brings up Jim Russell, who has struck out three times today. He is 0 for 4. Palika's pitch, Russell, ball four. And so the winning run now is in scoring position. For Del Crandall, who was one for four. Dell is singled. Holmes on second. Russell on first. Palika's pitch. Crandall up the middle. Pete Robinson's got it. Jackie steps on the bag. And that will retire the side. The Braves strand, too. We go to the 12th. This one's an instant classic. It's the Dodgers and Braves at one. Here's Hodges. Gill is one for five with a strikeout. Voicel to face Hodges, Campanella, and Ferrillo. These two teams have stranded a total of 25 runners. It's 1-1 here in the 12th. Pitch to Hodges. There's a ground ball past the diving Stanky, and the Dodgers have the leadoff runner on. Here's Campanella, somebody looking to be the hero. He's one for five. Boy sells pitch in the left field. Crandall's hurt, by the way. Sauer is, makes the catch. Hodges will hold. I don't know what happened to Crandall. But he's now considered injured. Fletcher and Elliott guard the lines. Here's Ferrillo. He's one for five. Pitcher spot is due up next. Voizel gets away from Crandall and Hodges moves up to second on the wild pitch. So again, the Dodgers have a runner in scoring position and one out. And a 1-2 count to Ferrillo. Boy, sell from the wide. 
Line drive to third. Elliott's there to throw to second. Hodges is back. They thought they had Gill double. But they didn't. And who can hit a righty? Who can hit a righty? Marv Rackley. At 331. Two homers and 23 RBI. As a pinch hitter, he has been extraordinary. 432, a homer and 5 RBI. Hodges on second. Two out. Top of the 12th. 1-1 one, one to score. Pitch to Rackley. In the right field, and that's a base hit. Hodges will round third and score, and finally the Dodgers take the lead. 2-1. to one. And that brings up Tommy Brown. Tommy is 1-2. for two. He is singled and struck out. So pitcher spot stanky and dark for Boston. But the Dodgers got across that big second run. Pitch to Brown is a base hit left field. Sauer will pick it up. Rackley will hold. Dark with a bad play. And it's first and second. Two out for Pee Wee Reese who is 0 for 6. A base hit here should make it 3 to 1. Pitch to Pee Wee. Popped up. Left side. Elliot, I think. Yeah, it'll be Bob and that will do it. But the Dodgers... A huge run on three hits and no errors. It won't matter that they stranded 17. They're three outs away from a magic number of three. Helps if I click the right thing. It'll be righty, righty, righty. We're going to take our chances here with Podbillen. Remember the last time Bud pitched, he coughed up a hairball. Bud making his seventh appearance, 2 0 with the 5 5 4 ERA. 25 years old, fastball pitcher, 88 miles an hour. Has not faced the Braves. Remember, on the 21st a week ago, he, he just the Cardinals destroyed him. An inning, four hits, five runs, all earned, and four walks. Overall, 13 innings, 12 hits, eight runs, all earned. He's walked 12 and struck out four. The Dodgers, three outs away. Voicel is hitting 160 with four RBI. He's not going to hit. Don Thompson at 250 and two RBI. One for three is a pinch hitter with one RBI. Thompson, Stanky, and Dark. Podbillen starts his game. Popped up behind the plate. Campanella takes off the mask. One out. Brings up Stanky. Eddie is one for three. He has singled and walked twice. Potmelin. Popped up. Second verse, same as the first. Campy's there, two out. And now you're down to your last out. So if the Dodgers win, we'll have these two teams tomorrow at noon. Al Dart is two for five. He is single twice and struck out. Podbolin trying to lock down the save. Here's the pitch. Base hit right field. And so the tying run is on for Boston. And the winning run is Bob Elliott. Who was one for five. Elliott hits 21 homers on the replay. Podbolin looks like a teenage boy on prom night. He just doesn't know what to do. He's just dripping sweat. 83 degrees. 
He needs an out. And the Dodgers can start singing. Here's the pitch to Elliott. Ground ball to first. Hodges to Podbelin. And the magic number is three. The Dodgers win the ball game two to one. Podbelin does the job. How about that? So the Dodger bullpen hangs on. What a well-pitched game for both teams. Two runs, 13 hits, and no errors for the Dodgers. Never in doubt. <laughs> I would ask what you were doing, but I don't want it. Boston, one run, eight hits, and an error. The Dodgers go to 91-60. and 60. The lead is now a game and a half. They have three games left. Hatton, seven innings, five hits, the home run by Holmes. He walked two and struck out six. Banta, two clean innings, six up, six down. Palika gets the win. He goes to five and six, two innings, two hits, two walks. And Podbelin with a save. Oh, mercy. I don't know who to give the game MVP to. I'm going to give it to Podbelin because that was tough. Johnny Sane, probably his best outing of the year. Seven innings, six hits, an unearned run. He walked three. Potter, three innings, four hits, two runs, or two walks, two strikeouts. And Voicel. All right, tomorrow it's the Dodgers and the Braves again. Oh, my goodness. Really quick, the rest of the day in baseball, the Yankees beat the A's 2-1. Tommy Byrne goes to 14-12, and 12, probably walked about 8,000 people. Uh, Joe Coleman goes to 12-15. and 15. The Giants beat the Phillies in Philadelphia 5-2. Sheldon Jones gets the win. Meyer takes the loss. Marshall 3-4 for four with two RBI. Cleveland is going to finish in second place. They pound the Shy Sox 11-1. Bob Lemon, a 21-game winner. Bruner with a loss, his first decision. Dale Mitchell, 4 for 6, 2 RBI and a double. And they will finish second because the Nats beat the Red Sox 10 to 3. Ray Scarborough goes to 16 and, 16 and 8. Joe Stops, or Chuck Stops, 12 and 4. So tomorrow at noon Eastern, it will be the Dodgers and the Braves. Until then, I'm Ron Juckett. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you tomorrow.